again, YouTube. This is Dr. Kendo, and I'm here with Scribble Knots Unlimited for the Wii U. I'm actually still not taking item requests or new suggestions for me to make items right now, although I will be doing it soon because I just did my 2,000 subscribers special, which everyone should go check out, where I made a whole bunch of uh, items all in one episode. It was like a longer episode with lots of items in it. And of course, my theme song, which is called Spectacle, and it's by Dr. Kendo. It's the outro song song for all of my scribble knots videos so it is by me myself i am the artist but uh i will be having that on itunes and amazon probably in august or september uh maybe october i do like to overshoot my goals and everything because my life is so busy so 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 busy i've got a wife a full-time job a dog music voice acting the youtube channel and other things that come up every now and then of course and so we're starting with one of my favorite i guess now new favorite human models to start start with in Scribble Knots, which is the Dancer. I like it because the Dancer kind of has thinner legs than the rest of them, and he's got mostly a solid body here, and so we're painting it all red. You gotta wonder what we're making, right? Well, I'm gonna tell you. A pretty highly requested item here, we are making Knuckles, the Echidna from Sonic the Hedgehog, of course. Uh, this comes from Pivot, Jur Returns, Blood Money 654, Dash the Hedgehog, Lego G1 Creator, Shining D Star, M33893, Thunderbolt589, and Carl Carr34. So these are all the ones who have requested it who were subscribers as well. So the only way that I'll currently take an item request is if it has been suggested before because then uh, I could just add in your name with the others who have requested it. Probably in about three weeks to a month I will take item requests again. But they're just going to be gaming related object requests so I'll only be doing gaming figureheads and gaming related characters. So that's something to look forward to. They always get the best results on YouTube anyway. So uh, here you saw that I just put down the nose and snout kind of areas for knuckles and I'm still kind of trying to figure out what shape would be better you know what I think that this one actually would be better right here it's got a little bit more of a curve to it and I've used a seed for knuckles's nose knuckles does have kind of the big black nose like Sonic does that kind of goes outward but I thought seed just kind of captured it a little bit better for what knuckles does and so I've put a new snout on but I am wondering if this was the same shape I don't know we're gonna have to play around with this a little bit but of course one thing that I've been doing a lot with my any video game characters really almost any characters is whenever I've got these eyes like that I put in the dot for the white of their eyes to add a little sparkle and of course for knuckles he's got huge knuckles or huge uh, hands and fists so I've just typed in boxing glove and we put that on there we may need to make some adjustments to the size of it and everything and uh, so let's see here we're trying to you know he's got a sort of crescent moon shape on his chest right here and so if you just type in crescent it actually comes up as croissant and uh, uh, apparently a half moon is a fish and so that was kind of interesting but then this crescent moon came up and I don't really like how that's looking so we're gonna compare it to the shape of a boomerang right here and I've also got the croissant up just in case we want to try that out but you know what I'm thinking I'm thinking that we're gonna go we're gonna go ahead and stick with the boomerang because that looks pretty dope for the white on his chest and so of course a big thing about knuckles is his hairdo and that's you know how are we gonna do this of course with Sonic we did horn or it's like an animal horn for my Sonic and my shadow that I've created, which you should go check out Sonic in Scribble Knots commentary number eight on my channel and Shadow in Scribble Knots number 15 commentary on my channel. And so we, of course, have used the horn here uh, for Knuckles' hair, just like the other guys. And another shape that could be good for his chest that I've been thinking about is actually the eyebrow. So I'm going to go ahead and put the eyebrow right here. Yes, it's, you know, that's what you've got to do is you've got to get kind of unconventional with the object editor. That's one piece of advice I have is just like think of anything that could be remotely the shape of what you want because you can color everything so you could just color the items and make it you know what you want uh, based on that and so I use a lot of unconventional things like I've seen some people use the croissant shape for teeth you know like an evil grin or something like that or a smile so you know you just kind of think of unconventional things like that and uh, see how they work together it's a lot of trial and error too and so to make Knuckles's shoes uh, of course I've just typed in shoes for the basic shoes but I've also put socks 
socks and painted them green back behind there for the top of them because Knuckles, the top of his uh, shoes are green. He also has this yellow stripe shape on his shoes as well. So I just went ahead and did the general geometry line shape that's in the geometry library, as I like to call it. It's just a library of shapes, you know, that are geometrical. Uh, so let's see. We want people to react to him as well. I'll just do Echidna. <laughs> and he will have the hero sound as the source audio, so he will make the sounds of a hero. Not that this really matters a whole lot to me. So one debate that I'm having with myself is what am I going to do for his movement and everything? Of course, uh, I'm going to make him run semi-fast, but he's obviously not, you know, a fast runner compared to Sonic. But uh, I'm wondering, I think I'm going to check the box for fly because, you know, Knuckles, he, he can glide, but he can't really fly. So it's like, what am I going to do here? They, they only have hover and fly. And so that's kind of the best thing that I figured was just I'll make him fly. But of course, you can also put him on the ground so that he'll move a little bit more like the real Knuckles and whatnot. And so kind of going along with more of the Team Sonic in uh, Sonic Heroes theme here, I'm actually going to make this Knuckles here in Scribble Knots uh, destroy barriers or walls, basically barricades of any kind. And so it's it's just like the power knuckles in Team Sonic for Sonic Heroes. So I basically just have it set for the scripting tool to be that his behavior says destroy barricades or walls or whatever, barriers. And so here, we're using the scripting tool and so I've got it so that he will destroy barriers. It's basically when he moves near the object of barriers. And so I want him to also play a little animation here uh, to show how strong he is. Uh, there's one animation that I'm looking for. Yeah, here we go. It's uh, lifting the weights or whatever so this is gonna show hey I'm strong or whatever so here we go we've got knuckles I think that that actually it looks pretty dope I just am gonna make a few adjustments very minor to his hair and so there we go uh so yeah here's him flying you know I again I don't know if that's really how we should do it or not because here you can see I'm trying to make him I'm trying to make him just stand on the ground. But uh, let's get out of Punctuation Plaza here. We'll go to Ruins of Ellipses. I have been here before when I've casted before, I think. But let's find out. We should, of course, have Knuckles in here, and we should do some testing of the scripts. So let's type in a barrier, because, of course, he's supposed to destroy them. Am I right? Let's see what happens here. Okay, so here we go. If you type in barricade... It actually comes up with a wooden one and a stone barricade. And so I'll just show you the wooden barricade. It's uh, got much less life to it so he can destroy it. And so it looks like, yeah, the scripting, the behavior tool is going okay because so, he's going over here and destroying it. So here's a uh, stone barricade, of course, uh, just so you can see that he will go up there and he will fight the barricades or whatever, doing his job as Knuckles. So I like it, I'm proud of it. I did have some doubts about his hair. I didn't know if I was gonna get that right. I think that it looks pretty good. Of course, I'll see what the trolls have to say. Uh, please stay under the bridges if you're out there. But anyway, I love all of you subscribers. You're so supportive and great. And thank you for getting me past the 2000 subscriber mark. I'm well past it at this point. And again, I love you all. So I'll catch you on the next vid. And thanks for viewing. And sit down the road up twists and turns. Always anxious to see what's within. We can look ahead to the point of no return. To the rest of our lives as a spectacle we give I've been down the road of twists and turns Always anxious to see what's within We can look ahead to the point of no return To the rest of our lives as a spectacle we give